Hello. Good afternoon, my good people. It's me. The day is kind of a little dreary outside. Looks like it's going to rain. But, uh, yeah, that's why you see I got my little cap on. <laughs> Dress for the weather. You know how that be. You got to dress up for the weather. Yeah. Yeah, so I uh, was just, um, want to get on. Someone was answering me about, um, a question about, um, why do married men cheat? And, uh, I just want to give my little spin on it, my opinion. Um, well, to me, I think before you marry someone, you should get to know that person. And know them well. Don't, get afraid, don't be afraid to hold conversation while you're talking, you know, answering them about sex and how much do they like it or do they like it. You know, because some people get married and come to find out that the man don't even like sex or the woman don't even like it really having sex. So then that become a problem. And that might make them go out and cheat. Is it right? No, it's not right. But it might make them go out and cheat. And some men or some women might like it a lot. That might make them go out and cheat. But, uh... And like I told you, you got to get to know someone before you um, make that commitment. That long commitment, you got to get to know them. You know what you're walking into. And um, that's the only thing I can give them, that know who you're marrying. And then some people you marry, and you be in that... Uh, marriage, so some women don't like having sex, some women don't like... All the foreplay and all the other little things men like to do in the bedroom. And um, you got to be ready to do them things. I mean, long as it's not done crazy, off the wall, something really crazy or anything like that. Hmm. You better go have that fun in that bedroom with your husband. Yeah, I mean... That's what you're supposed to do. You know, sometimes you got to spice up your marriage. You know, sometimes it, you know, the things, the same thing you did when y'all first met and the fun and the and, and the cuteness you was looking and all that. You got to keep that going. You can't get married and then, like, oh, well, I'm wearing this bonnet to bed. Oh, well, I'm wearing this scarf on my head. Oh, well, I'm putting these pajamas on. You know, you got to still keep that spice and that look and all that, you know, when you are married. That's why it's, it should get better. Because I remember when um I used to find a cake. Yes, I did. And it used to be, I used to be so guilty afterwards. So guilty. And then once, you know, I've been married before a couple of times to be exact. <laughs> but I'm divorced now. And when I was married and I and in that bedroom, I mean it was good because I I didn't have no guilt in the back of my head. I know I was making love to my husband. So it was a beautiful thing. So when you making love to your husband, it's beautiful. You don't have to uh, you know, be afraid, you know, make love. Make your husband feel good. Then you don't want to go out and cheat. You know, and it's no, it's not right for him to, or for her to, you know, and he's, he's meeting a dutchery. He's not cheating. He, he, you're not supposed to do that. So, um, like I said, with that, you just, um, uh, maybe you can go to counseling, take them to counseling and see, 
Sit down, talk to your husband, you know, and see what the problem is, or your wife. See what the problem is. See what's going on. See why they're cheating. After you know you're doing everything you're supposed to do in that bedroom, and you know everything's good with you, yeah, you got to, you'll want to know, you know, hey, brother, uh, check this out. Uh, I know you're doing something, and I'm going to find out. So I want to know if you're cheating, what, what is it? What is I'm doing? What, you know, talk to him. But like, like I say, t- with me, I'm, I'm going to answer all them questions before, before I even married a man. While we dating, I, I ask man, how much you like sex? Do you like sex? You know, and I hear some men say, ooh, you very blunt. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, because I want to know. I don't want to get married and then find out you don't even like sex. I find out you're a sex maniac. No, you answer all that stuff before you even walk down that aisle. So, uh, that's what I had to tell her and leave her with, you know, uh, it's in my prayers that everything work out for any married woman that her husband is cheating on. I pray to God fix it because he can restore it. So, yeah, you talk about it. And if you're doing your part, you got to get your little freaky dicky on in that bedroom and make sure your husband or wife happy. Yes, you do. So if you're doing everything you know you're supposed to be doing, yeah, you go to counseling, uh, you talk, sit down and talk with him yourself. But no, it's not all right for married man to cheat. And yeah, you doing what you're supposed to do. It's a problem if he's cheating. He has some type of problem. Okay, y'all. So uh, I just wanted to hop on and say that right quick. So she can get my message and uh, everybody can get it and uh, finish doing my cooking. And uh, I'll get back with y'all. I got another haul I want to show y'all, another wig haul. So I'll get back with y'all. Smooches, love you. Yes, I do. Nothing you can do about it. I'm out. Bye-bye. I thought I was out. <laughs>